Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to talk about my low life build. I've been playing in Path of Exile, patch 2.6. Uh, so we've moved on now from the hardcore solo self found and what we're going to be doing now is uh, just the hardcore legacy league and currently I'm level 81 now I'm trying to work on a low life righteous fire build but at the moment I kind of don't feel like it's adjusting too well at the moment so at level 81 I'm going with blade 4 totems so and I never realized how good it is in the guardian uh, ascendancy uh, it is absolutely awesome because we can use so many auras for damage and I have played uh, dual blade four tones before really early on and I found it as a really OP build and now I've gone back to it again and I'm really really enjoying it so let's let's just have a look basically um, at the skill tree so we go guardian basically we start off with prayer of glory when you're leveling your character you can choose to level however you want Okay, you can do a flame blast build, like flame blast build. You can do a, a firestorm build. You can do all sorts of different builds. You can do SRS builds. Um, that's the beauty about starting in the template area. And basically, this is the path I went. And these are what I chose. I went um, firestorm, and I just uh, basically moved around the, the area just to get ready to go to the energy shield. Basically, before I had life here, I had life over here life over here uh, life here so and then I transitioned over to energy shield and I went with the physical damage nodes for the blade four totems and the totems here totems here and so forth and it's currently working to get the totem nodes over here as well I've also got the totem nodes up here too anyway so uh, this is the low life guardian build that I've chosen so far at level 81 when you're starting off in low life all the gear, all the basic gear is very, very cheap. Everything is cheap. But then when you start going on to like getting a chevrons or something, that's where it gets expensive. So if anyone doesn't know what a chevrons is, it's a actual armor you need <clears throat> uh, when you're doing low life. So your chaos damage doesn't bypass your energy shield. There are only two types of armors I think that you can get unique armors uh, that will have this on the, on the armor. Uh, the other one is the Solaris Locra. Now this actual armor is what most of our low life builds will be using in this patch basically because you can't afford the chevrons which is about 600 chaos at the moment in this league um, so and that's if you can even find one on PO, PoE trade uh, so anyways this will do for the time being and uh, that uh, chaos damage does not bypass energy shield so that's the uh, most important thing with this build and that is a must if you want to go low life um, next thing we've got is auras. So when you go low life, you need to use your auras on your life. Now this is where the Guardian build becomes really, really effective because when you have Radiant Faith, you get armor equal to 160% of your reserved life That's to you and your allies. So also totems and your whatever allies you have will have the actual armor as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, we get me and allies will get 15% increased attack and cast and movement speed if we use a war cry recently, which is pretty awesome as well. And this is also really, really good for uh, low life energy shield builds. So every single five seconds, you will remove curses, elemental. Anyways, I don't have to go into all this. It, you know, you get the picture here. Basically, this gives your energy shield pretty much regeneration like crazy. So, say you are like getting hit pretty bad. Once every five seconds, it will just regenerate like crazy, 30%, um, because you have the zealots oaf, which is over here. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the build now. Um, actually, I'll go through some of the gear I've got. We're using Prism Guardian, which is basically one chaos. Uh, this gives us, um, we can use the auras Discipline, Hatred, and Anger, and that can all go to our life. Now, with our other auras we're using, we're using the Purities in our rings, Purity of Ice, Purity of Lightning, and in our armor, Purity of Fire. Okay, so that will go on to our mana. In the helm, we use the Vertex. Now, you don't have to use the Vertex, but the Vertex is what I'm using at the moment, so my totems don't cost much to use. Currently, um, I've got the totem socketed into the helm, so when I'm using it, it will only cost me 42 mana, not 84 mana. So I can go an extra um, extra purity. Uh, I can cast an extra purity 
on, as an aura reserved. I'll have enough mana until I get to a high level. Once I go to a high level, then I can use blood magic in here and then change my shield over to an even more powerful shield uh, with more energy shield and, and so forth. But at the moment, this is what I'm going to settle with. Okay, so you can use a vertex if you want. You don't have to if you can't afford it because it is like 40 chaos to get a vertex. So you can choose that or you can choose uh, Rhyme Glaze. Rhyme Glaze will effectively give you a 5 link setup. So instead of Concentrated Effect, that will already be on the Rhyme Glaze. And you'll have Blade 4, um, Concentrated Effect, Faster Casting, and Spell Totem. And then you can also have added fire damage in there. So it'll be a 5 link setup. You can also use uh, something like... Uh, the Martyr's Crown. So you can effectively use this as well. It's got 347 energy shield. Um, it also gives you pain attunement. What a pain attunement is, another good thing about low life is builds is it gives you 30% more spell damage when you have low life. So that's always going to be on when you have your low life on with the build, which is another benefit of having a low life build. Okay, so the red beaks over here. The red beak, what this can give you is 100% increased damage when on low life. So, I'll show you in a minute the differences between the red beak and what I'm currently using at the moment. Um, currently this dagger is one chaos as well, it's just a heartbreak, I found this one, so I'm using it. Uh, these spells have a cooling strike, 60% increased spell damage, uh, and 50% to maximum energy shield, so it gives you energy shield gives you calling strike to your spell totems as well, which is pretty good. Um, so let's do our auras now. So basically purity of fire. We'll put all the purities on first. Purity of ice and purity of lightning. So I've got 108 mana so I can still cast my totems effectively. I can still move around, use my movement skill gems and so forth. Uh, my war cries, they cost no mana to use from the Guardian. Okay, and then we'll cast our warriors for our life. So, hatred, discipline, and anger. You could maybe put haste in there as well, if you don't want anger. So, um, currently I'm just using anger. You can try it out a little bit different if you like. So now our totems have our auras, have shitload more damage, and also have energy shield on them too. So all those buffs. Now, we're currently low life. Where do we have our life reserved? My defenses are now up, so I've got 7,700 armor. Remember what I said before? So that's because of Radiant Faith and the Guardian Ascendancy area. Okay. Now, so the red beak. The red beak gives 100% increased damage when on low life. This low, <laughs> this this is not even required level two to use. So <laughs> you can use this at any time, and it costs like not even one chaos. So if we put that on, we're doing 9,000 damage at the moment. Change that over. It's 9,805 DPS. Um, I'm going to keep the heartbreaker on just for the extra energy shield. So we have maybe 300 more energy shield, or 200 maybe. I'm going to use that. It's got cooling strike on it, so we're going to leave the red beak out, but it's still socketed for me if I wanted to use it. Okay. Now let's let's do a map. Let's do a map. What have I got here? Castle Ruins map. Um, Stone maps. Castle Ruins maps. Pier map. Do the pier map. I haven't done the peer map yet. I don't think I've done it anyway. Let's make it a, uh, a rare map. Just to make it a little bit difficult. Sea Witches. Monsters have increased area effect. 83 extra damage is fire. Less 20% increased area effect. Okay. So we activate that. Go in. Okay, so this is a tier 8 map, I think. And just remember, I'm only using a four link setup here. All right, let's hope, let's see how we go. Oh, it's just, it should be pretty easy because it's just sea witches, you know. We've also got beyond on here as well um, because I've got my league stones in. I've got to have beyond. A couple of cool league stones. 
I'll leave the mods up for a sec on the right hand side here so okay so when we're whirling using our whirling blades we're getting fortify that way so we try and stay out of danger at the moment Okay, and we have, I'll cast Orb of Storms. Orb of Storms is linked with Temporal Chains and Assassin's Mark. Like I said before, you can choose what you guys want to play. Um, I'm currently got those two curses on as dual curses. You don't have to. You can choose whatever curses you guys want. That's what I've chosen. Anyway, we'll take those map things off at the moment. We'll just keep going now. Oh my goodness, there are so many sea witches in here. So not bad damage for a uh, four link setup. The good thing about Blade Four Times as well is you can go away <laughs> like you can run away and the totems still work unlike the other totems uh, like the the attacking totems you get they don't they stop working if you go too far away oh my gosh there's a lot of beyond guys in here always oh, hitting hard that one oh that's a uh, that's why he's got the corpse explosion you gotta be careful of that He's almost dead. There we go. That fella hit pretty damn hard, but too bad. I've only got 6,000 energy shield at the moment, so i got to make sure I uh, don't go a little bit too crazy here. We'll probably be getting a lot of Beyond bosses in here, which would be pretty cool. So currently doing 132 million XP per hour. Prophecy one, that was pretty cool. Oh man, another beyond boss. Let's just stay out of trouble. Don't stay on the corpses. Whoa. So many beyond bosses. He's dead. These people logging in. Okay. <laughs> All right, more sea witches. This is insane. I think this um slaying enemies close together can cause, but a monster in the area will summon a unique monster from beyond <laughs> when slain. That's that's just great. That's why I'm getting all those unique Beyond bosses because of this actual um, this actual map mod I've got on here. So far, we've had two of the worst unique ones. We can get the crazy ass unique too, but we don't want that. more bosses. <laughs> That's alright, let's just do this. 
I don't think he can hit me because I've got that. Let's keep going. Where's the boss room here? Ah. I can hate this boss. Anyway. Just try it. I got a trap on here or what? Ah. Whoops. Whoa. Gotta go over here. Next. Ooh. Ooh, that wasn't good. Ooh. Alright, this area sucks ass. Let's just move quick. But as you can see, the energy shield regenerates pretty quickly on the Guardian. Send this the area. And I'm playing pretty crappy at the moment, so. <laughs> Anyway, that's just a little bit of um, a low life guardian build you can play. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's my low life dual blade for totems build. Currently work in progress at the moment. Um, we will be getting other items later on and hopefully we will progress later with this character. I'm really enjoying it at the moment, um, what guardian it actually has to offer. And I hope you guys enjoy. See you later.